Hello and welcome, BomberFD here. Today we're going to jump into the Destiny 2 beta and check out the three exotic weapons we're able to get so far. There's really no spoiler here, as soon as Lord Chax opens up the armory, each class will get a different unique exotic weapon. The first exotic we'll take a look at is Sunshot, which you'll get on the Hunter. This little solar hand cannon is actually pretty decent. You do only get 8 shots, but with each shot it is an explosive round, and also the perk Sunblast, which is very similar to Firefly, but with Sunblast it's not required to have an actual precision shot. It's just a kill shot and it will still cause that AoE damage. The range also of this hand cannon is actually pretty decent as well. Every shot also does light up your opponent, so it's kind of like a thorn, but it doesn't actually cause a dot ticking damage. And this is just some quick footage of the sunshot being used. As far as clearing adds and trash out, I definitely think this is probably an above average weapon. Mostly do the explosive rounds and obviously every time you kill an opponent it'll blow up. As for a boss, I'd probably say it's average. And on to the next exotic weapon, which is called Sweet Business. This is the Titan exotic weapon you get from Lord Jax, and it's actually my least favorite. It is kinetic power, so it's going to be a little bit lower but it works essentially the same way as the old machine guns do in Destiny 1. The longer you hold the trigger, the faster it shoots as well as the more accurate it shoots at farther range. For clearing out trash and adds, I would say it's about average. It does feel incredible just to be shooting non-stop, but at the same time it really doesn't output that much damage. As far as boss fights go, especially the sponge bullet bosses, I would honestly rate this probably below average. I really did not like it. But on to the last exotic, which is probably my favorite. It is a submachine gun called the Risk Runner. You will obtain this from Lord Jax on the Warlock. The unique perk on this weapon is called Arc Conductor. And the way it works is that anytime you take arc damage from any enemy, you get a temporary buff. And with that buff, you have an increase in damage on this weapon as well as an increase in resistance to all other incoming arc damage. Not only that, but you can also extend this buff with every kill you get. And during this buff, the Arc Conductor, you also chain lightning onto other enemies. And it just so happens that every time you chain lightning off of an enemy, you also get ammo back. Pretty much, if Arc Conductor is active, you're going to have unlimited ammo as well as just insane amount of AoE damage to be able to clear out trash and mobs. And because of that, this weapon is definitely a top of the shelf for clearing out multiple enemies. Now as far as a boss fight goes, if you are fighting a boss that somehow does have arc damage where you can trigger the arc conductor, then again I would definitely have to rate this as an above average weapon because you'll have unlimited ammo as well as dealing way more damage than you normally would. And that's all I have for you guys today. Again, these exotics are not set in stone, this is still beta. We may have to obtain them in a totally different way once the actual entire game does come out. But I'm also curious of your guys' thoughts or which weapon you may have preferred or really enjoyed. Please do comment down below. As well, if you did enjoy the video, please do give a thumbs up as it really does help me out a lot. And if you are new here and you want more Destiny 2 content, please do subscribe as I will continue making it. And guys, as always, before I go, do know that you are loved. Thank you.